estimate volume now with milliliters and liters. So again, we are sticking to um, metric for the time being. I don't know if Khan Academy really delves into the imperial system. And if it doesn't, I will make my own videos and I will put those up as well. The process is the same, but I think it's very important being able to get to know both imperial and I guess it's not called imperial. I should just call it freedom units, uh, freedom units and, and, uh, and metric. So uh, let's go ahead and estimate volumes in milliliters and liters. So a milliliter is one, yes, uh, one silver key, freedom units. I, I've been using the, the phrase freedom units to, to describe America's units for a very long time because it's not quite imperial and it's not quite anything else. I'm just, I just go with freedom units. It always makes people laugh. It's great. I'm just going to use that from now on. Um, so a milliliter is one cubic centimeter. Imagine a little cube that is one centimeter on a side. That is how much a milliliter is also known as a cubic centimeter or a cc, which you hear in medical jargon all the time. I need 50 cc's of whatever stat. Um, so for a spoonful of honey, we're talking about milliliters. A liter is more like a quart-ish. Four liters is a bit more than a gallon-ish. Again, I don't know the exact uh, calculations. I don't know the exact multipliers, um, but that's, that's about right. It's somewhere in that general vicinity. The volume of a water can is more like 8 liters than 80 liters. I don't think my car's gas tank is 80 liters. It might be, depending on what the exact uh, conversion is. Hey, look, a car's gas tank. We would, wow, did not do that on purpose. Well done, me. Mmm, yay, probability. Identify, um, so for a gas tank, when we're talking about milli milliliters, think like, um, like an eyedropper. If you could measure it with an eyedropper, then, then a milliliter is probably pretty good for that. Um, anything more than like a teacup's worth of water, then an eyedropper becomes really, really bad, and we start using liters. I hope that makes sense. A paint bucket is more like four liters, about a gallon-ish, than four milliliters. There we go. Took it a little bit of time there. That finishes up estimate volume with milliliters and liters. Again, the idea is just to get a general sense of these units because when you see them in day-to-day -day life, you know, you're, you're gonna wanna be able to, 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 to know what you're talking about. Word problems with volume. And again, these aren't going to be word problems that rely on you knowing exactly what volume is and how it works. These are gonna be addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, word problems involving volume. Ryan watered his plants for eight minutes using a sprinkler. Uh, 72 liters of water total. Be careful. Read the problem carefully. How many liters of water did the sprinkler use each minute? When you say things like each minute and per minute, you're usually talking about division. Not all the time. Again, none of the rules are, not all of the rules are cut and dry all the time. A lot of rules in math are, but when it comes to vocabulary, just like any other language, sometimes there's wiggle room. But when we see each minute, we're going to take the total amount of water, we're going to divide it by how many minutes there are to find how much water per minute, which in this case would be nine liters per minute. Kioma loves yellow. She buys a container with the amount of yellow paint shown below, which is 25 liters. She uses 14 liters of the paint to paint her walls. So 25 minus 14 is uh, 11, right? Yeah, 11. 11 liters of yellow paint left. Kathiva, Kathiva? Kathiva. I don't think I've ever seen this name before. Kathiva has a baby pool in her backyard. Yesterday, the pool had 425 liters of water in it. This afternoon, Kathiva used a hose to add 23 more liters of water. How many liters are in the baby pool now? So assuming that none of it gets pulled out because of like 
um, evaporation or animals drinking it or whatever, we should be at 448 liters. Um, my thought process there, just putting it out there, I said that if I added 25, that would be 450, and then subtract 2 to get 448. Just like we've done in practice before. Percy Pig uses a hose to wash his pig sty for 11 minutes, 7 liters of water every minute. Now, one sort of kind of hack for parents who are looking at these problems for their kids, this is not for the students, so take the kids away from the screen for a moment, okay? Look at this problem. If you try to divide these two numbers, you're going to get a horrible decimal mess, which is beyond where we're at right now, right? So when we're talking about volume, we're talking about these word problems, we're really only talking about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, right? And when we start talking about liters of water every minute, we're talking about multiplication or division. So ask yourself, is this problem likely to land us in decimal hell? Well, no. So our really only answer is to multiply to get 77 liters total, as opposed to dividing and getting a horrible decimal. Now, this doesn't always work, but it does right now because we haven't even learned about decimals or, or that kind of fraction just yet. So, if you need to check a problem like for yourself so that you can help your student, um, there are a few tricks and a few patterns you can see in early Khan Academy that'll help you out and will help you um, at least settle on an answer for yourself quickly. Um, so that you can help out your student. Soapy Suds laundry detergent comes in a 21 fluid ounce bottle. Each load of laundry with Soapy Suds uses three fluid ounces of detergent. How many loads of laundry can be washed with a bottle of Soapy Suds laundry detergent? So we're dividing here. A full 21 ounce bottle taken out three cups, three ounces, three ounces at a time. It would take seven laundry loads. Moving on. Liquid soap container. Lots of liquid soap going on today. Okay, so it had some soap already. Then he added 177 milliliters more soap. Now it has 266. So now we're going to take the 266 that it currently has and we're going to subtract. The 177 that he originally had? No, that he added. He added in 177, and that'll give us how much was there before, right? We're going to take off the 177 that he added in, and we're going to get, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and do this the old-fashioned way. 66. Well, that's not going to work. We're going to go ahead and make that a 16. And that... A 15 because we borrowed one of those tens for this one. That's going to be a one. Okay, so 16 minus 7 is 9. 15 minus 7 is 8. 1 minus 1 is 0. Looks like there was initially 89 milliliters of soap. But hey, what if I'm not convinced? What if I'm not sure that 89 is the right answer? Well, I can always take that 89 and add it to the 177 we initially had. 8, 9, uh, 16, to get 266. This is, an, or this is an optional part right here. That is optional, but it does help, right? If you just double check to make sure your answer is actually right, especially here because we're almost done with this assignment, and I know how many students get really upset when they get to the end of the assignment and, can't, or, and uh, get something wrong at the very end. This is the time to be checking your work when you're in your last couple of problems. So 89 looks like it's my answer. I don't care how confident you are. When you are on problem 7 of 7 or 6 of 7, make sure you're checking your work. It's, it's just good sense. Bert the Bunny is going to use up all of the shampoo and conditioner to wash his fur. There's the shampoo at, it looks like, 14. Yeah, 14 milliliters. And 12 for conditioner. How many milliliters of shampoo and conditioner? 
the word and is a code often for plus. I'm gonna move that a little bit higher. For plus. And usually means plus. Not always, but most of the time. So I'm gonna take that 14 that I saw, and I'm gonna double check that it was actually 14. 12, 13, 14, 15, okay, so 14 and 12 is 26 milliliters total. And that is word problems involving volume. All right, quiz two, specifically on probably volume. Let's go. So we've got six, seven, eight milliliters in each one, and there are three packets. So eight times three is 24. As usual with quizzes, I'm gonna kind of cut my commentary a little bit shorter. Three liters for a tall vase. There's 45, and there were five packets, so each one is nine mil nine milliliters. Right? Nine times five is 45? Okay, just making sure. Uh, cough medicine, you definitely don't want to be... You don't want to be drinking liters of cough medicine, no. No, you do not. Children, if there are kids watching this, do not drink liters of cough medicine. Do not drink milliliters of cough medicine without an adult supervision. It's, yeah, that's, woo-wee. Um, anyway, Ahmed made a fruit smoothie, which is, looks like it is 610 milliliters. No, 20, 40, 68, 625, 50, 75. Okay, so that is, wow, that's a, that's a close one. Take a look at that. You, you need to do... The one bit here that you need to do that's a little bit tougher is to remember, and remember this is third grade, that when you cut something into fourths, that is 25 milliliters per, right? 25, 50, and then 75, and then 700 milliliters. So that looks like it is 625 milliliters. And then 320 was given to his brother. So 625 minus 320 is 305. Meaning he gave more to his brother than for himself. What a nice guy. That's quiz two.